Hello everybody, this is me, the Movies Reborn, here with another Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness walkthrough episode. Uh, today, we have just, uh, well actually, this is actually, uh, just after we have defeated the, uh, story mode. Post game, let me switch my Pokemon to, uh, Primeape and Flygon, because I'm going to need the Earthquake technique right off the bat. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this mail from Egan. Uh, actually, he is right outside waiting for me to battle him. Uh, if you've battled him before, you already know that he already has a Pikachu. Well, uh, he's actually pretty more powerful than that. Uh, I love messing with him, and he asked, he's asked if you read the email, and you can say no or yes, but I always say no, because it's hilarious. Um, but he battles you, and unlike last time, he doesn't have just one Pikachu. As a matter of fact, uh, he's kind of like Ash Ketchum in the fact that he uses Pikachu, but he uses two Pichus, two Pikachus, and two Raichus. That's why I'm using the Earthquake technique. I am going to just mop the floor with him. Uh, with my uh, uh, Earthquake technique. Sorry, sometimes I just forget. Uh, earthquake, anyhow, is just totally going to own Huzzah. Pichu, and something else about the, uh, the levels of his Pokemon. Uh, the Pichus are all level 45. The Pikachus are level 50. And as such, the Raichus are level 55. Um, he also invites you to go to uh, the Ore Coliseum, and that is that is torture. They are the most hardest Pokemon battles you will ever face anywhere within this era of Pokemon. Uh, they use so many different techniques. Oh, you bet you better have some pretty tough Pokemon. Like even the Pokemon that you raised in this entire game will not be enough. You will probably have to get Pokemon from anywhere and bring them to here to get them. I mean, uh, you can now you actually since you beat the story mode, you can actually uh, trade Pokémon from your Game Boy Advance games onto this one. Although, I don't really know why you would want to do that because this game really doesn't go anywhere. But uh, you can learn some interesting moves. Um, but before you do go to Oracle Coliseum, I recommend getting your Pokémon to at least level 60. And to do that, really, you should uh, complete Mount Battle, and that way you'll get to around, roughly around level 60. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of doing Mount Battle, and I'm also going to do some other post-game stuff. But for this episode, I'm just going to be uh, clearing up some stuff stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be catching the last Shadow Pokemon in this episode, telling you how to get it. And we're going to be purifying Shadow Lugia. Um, it's not going to really be that hard. As a matter of fact, Shadow Lugia is actually the the easiest Pokemon to purify. I mean, he seems like the hardest Pokemon ever. Uh, and it's like you can't catch him, and you catch him with a Master Ball, and you can't purify him, and you purify him faster than you have any other Pokemon. So, really, it's really not that bad. But anyway, I easily beat Egan, as you can see. Earthquake technique, totally owned. Um, he tells you now where the Ore Coliseum is. Do not go there yet, please. I beg of you. Uh, before we go uh, do other stuff, I'm going to purify Shadow Lugia real quick. And really, just to purify Shadow Lugia, um, if you have all the sets perfectly to where they they have perfect tempo, and you have uh, well, yeah, if you, if they all have perfect tempo, then uh, Shadow Lugia will automatically be purified. So, really, let me show you. See, if all of them have that white bar full, uh, then just put Shadow Lugia on one of the sets, and it says, wait a minute, something's different. Yeah, something different about Shadow Lugia, and you'll look at him, and it says that he is ready to be purified. And, really, it's really not that hard. Lugia is now purified. See? And he even changed his color. You can, you can watch him change color. Watch that, and now he's regular Lugia again. And he learns some pretty awesome moves. Matter of fact, he learns uh, Psycho Cut. Uh, I think we're about to see. Uh, 
sound really stupid if that was wrong. Yeah, Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost, that's what it was. Psycho Boost, Feather Dance, Earthquake, and Hydro Pump. Very cool. And now, Lugia has been purified. Let me nickname it with lowercase letters since it does not evolve. And we are done with that. Now we just gotta purify the rest, and all of Shadow Pokemon will be purified. Except I gotta catch one last one. And congrats are in order from Crane. Thank you very much. Alright, uh, let me. Yeah, I'll do that later. Um, let's go to a very uh, special place. Uh, now you'll remember back in the Cypher Key Lair that Smyra B happened to steal the last Shadow Pokemon that was uh, Shadowified. And so if you go to Gatenport real quick, you will activate your Myra radar. And that should happen any moment now. Any moment. Yeah, there we go. Myra, may, Myra B may have appeared. And it just says he's in Gatenport. And if you know Gatenport, there's really no place for him to hide out. Except one. There's just one place. And that place is this tower. Now, you've already been here before to catch that Shadow Poochiana. And yeah, the Shadow Poochiana. It's in the same place where you fought the Shadow Poochiana, which I almost forgot again. So we'll just go this way. Um, you can go two ways up. You can uh, take the stairs or the elevator. Either way, you'll end up there. I take the elevator because it's obviously faster. And if you go to the top, you'll see that for some reason he's having a dance party. I don't know why. And his Ludicolo are all acting weird. And Chudley and Folly are here. It's all funky up here. I'm just gonna get right up in his face. And we're gonna battle. We're gonna battle! I, I, I want you, want you. Uh, yeah, I am that super annoying brat. Oh no, Team Myra. I would have maybe joined that. Anyway, this is Myra B's final Pokemon battle with you. It's gonna go out in style. And this time, unlike uh, most times, he does not have a jump fluff or any of those other Pokemon. He has strictly Ludicolos and a Shadow Pokemon. Uh, I forgot to change my Pokemon out. Um, oh, they're level 57. Holy crap. What in the heck? Oh, this is going to suck. Well, as long as they don't keep on using some ultra moves, I'll be I'll probably be good. Cross chop. Yeah. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, I flinched. Oh no. Oh no, they're using rain dance. Okay. Ludicolos have one of two special abilities. They either have rain dish in which rain slowly heals them or they have a uh, swift swim which is why they're going so fast now well it's raining they go fast don't kill primate huh huh okay this is gonna be a tough Pokemon battle see oh my gosh okay this is gonna suck they're like killing my Pokemon really badly cross chop Alright, if I can't take out these Ludicolos faster, oh, this is gonna suck. This is why I needed a flying type Pokemon, because Ludicolos, I think that's the only thing they're weak to right now is poison and flying. Could have had a gro Crobat going right now. Uh, hopefully, this paralyzes. Please paralyze. Please, please, please. No. Oh. Well, I could use Reversal with Primate, but he's not fast enough. Let's try healing him. And hopefully they'll like Hydro Pump him and he'll survive again. And then uh, Reversal will work. Oh, they're not gonna use uh, Hydro Pump, they're gonna use Waterfall. Oh my goodness, they got a critical hit. Well, that go there goes my entire strategy. But if you remember, I have a Water Pokemon. Hmm, hopefully they're like not gonna counter. Oh, I understand. I think all of his Ludicolos like know some really funky moves. Like some of them are regular Ludicolos, and I just forgot that they're also Grass types. So that was pretty stupid throwing out a Water type. Wow, that was a lot of HP. Um, but well, what was I even talking about? I forgot. Oh, there goes my Flygon. Okay, he's already taken out two of my Pokemon. 
He's about to take out three, and I've only taken out one of his. This is sucking right bet right now. But if you remember, it, when the condition is rain, that uh, thunder will always hit, so he's kind of helping me right now. As long as I can take out his Ludicolos with thunder, should be good. Too bad they're also grass type. Then I could, like, critical hit them until the cows come home. That's all I could come up with, is till the cows come home. S sucking. Let's use thunder, shall we? Thunder. Thunder on Ludicolo. And they are just letting loose with that Giga Drain. Luckily, the one with full HP uh, went first, so the other one will not su uh, suck up as much HP. Yikes. Sorry, Sharpedo, but I was not expecting Myra B to, th Myra B to be this powerful. Probably should have thought ahead. Alright, let's throw out Agron. Hopefully Agron can stall time, because, you know, he is in fact rock, so they'll probably try to hydro, hydro pump him. And that way I can uh, spend a turn protecting, and that will give me some time to thunder them into next week. And that's all I can come up with again. Next week. Ludi Colo Colo Colo. Right, how many? I think, oh, of course, right when I throw out a Pokemon that can help with the status, with the weather condition, <sighs> the rain stops. Wow, that's terrible. Protect anyway. And let's thunder. Hopefully, it, oh, yeah, it hits. Very nice. Very nice. Come on, kill. It didn't kill it. Rain dance. Oh, yeah. Here comes the rain. I set fire. To the rain, and you rain danced too soon, my friend. But I set fire to the rain. Let's switch out Agron for Gardevoir. Because it would do no good for Agron to die right now. I need his Protect to stall for one turn. And Gardevoir has pretty good special defense, so hopefully she can survive a little bit. Okay, Ampharos can survive another hit. Actually, can survive two hits. Thunder Punch. Wait a minute, what? Why would you use Thunder Punch on Agron? Because that's what that's the place Agron was. So why wouldn't you use Hydro Pump? What is wrong with these people? But anyway, it's. I think it's good. I think that guy, if he is the kind of Ludicolo that I think he is, he might know Thunder Punch, Fire Punch and uh, Ice Punch. If so, then that, since he already used Rain Dance, then that means that uh, all he knows is the punches and then Rain Dance. And Hydro Pump is gonna kill Ampharos. Don't kill Ampharos, don't kill Ampharos. I need you, Ampharos. Oh, this is getting too close. Yep, see, that Ludicolo knows the punches. So, actually, try to keep that one alive since his punches aren't that powerful. That can help out a lot. Right, Psychic you, and then Thunder will take you out. Thank you for making the stat the weather condition Thunder. You have just screwed yourself. Congratulations. You've screwed yourself. Earned some major experience. Man, Myra B is not going down without a fight. And there is the final Shadow Pokemon, Dragonite. Now, if you ask me, it's actually weird that... Uh, he will put a Dragonite, shout out this Shadow Dragonite on his team, because his team is nearly flawless. If you know, but if you fought him with flying and poison type, you probably own him, maybe. Um, but uh, Dragonite just seems out of place because he doesn't take advantage of the rain condition or anything. It's just weird. It's too weird. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Shadow Rush. Oh no, that's gonna kill Gardevoir. Don't kill Gardevoir. Don't kill. Nope. Oh. Never mind. It was attacking Ampharos. Oh, and lucky, luckily my static activated. Thank God. Finally, something's going my way. Colo, colo, colo. And hopefully, that uh, Ludicolo won't bother me anymore. Because I can kill it this turn. Now I need to start working on that Dragonite. Hopefully, he can survive this Psychic that I'm about to dish down onto him. Because that Ludicolo survived it pretty well. If this Dragonite is anything as I expected, it should be able to survive too. This might take out a lot more than I expected though. Oh well, actually that's pretty cool! Now I can just use one more Psychic and then he'll be catchable. Perfectly, as long as I don't get a critical. Please God, don't let me get a critical. 
That would suck. That would really, really suck. Look at those high heels. Lime green or dark icky green high heels. Shadow Rush, don't kill Guardiwa, don't kill Guardiwa. No, 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 no. Oh, yikes! Don't kill Amphi! What is wrong with you? And the rain stopped. Well, I'm not going to use Thunder anyway, so really, no need to worry. Psychic on that, and keep Ampharos alive with another... Well, actually, let's just throw an Ultra Ball. Because I'd like to catch this as soon as possible. Really, I would. Um, Maybe this can catch it, because if I get a critical, then that would kill Dragonite, and that would be horrible. And he got out of the ball anyway, so really, that just was pointless. Let's Psychic and see how much damage we can deal. And he's right there next to death. That is exactly where you want to be. So, now, let's just keep uh, throwing balls at him. And I'll just call Ampharos. I got another Pokemon. I got an Aggron uh, in store. So, I've got some pretty much... I got some pretty good leverage. 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 And why is he getting out so easily? I mean, I cut that Salamence with one Ultra Ball. So why, why in the heck is this Dragonite giving me hell? When you walk my way, I'm gonna give you hell, I'm gonna give you... Oh my goodness, he killed Ampharos. He killed Ampharos! And all I've got is an Aggron left. Not that Aggron sucks, but, you know, I've only got two Pokemon left. Uh, Let us throw another Ultra Ball. And let's just protect with Agron, because hopefully he'll target Agron. Because for some reason, people like fighting Agrons. Alright, now. Come on, we can catch it. Come on! Oh, no. What in the world? Why isn't the paralyzation activating? I mean, for reals, man. For shizzle. Shot a rush. Oh, wait. He had... Oh, no! Crap, oh, I've only got one Pokemon left. This is gonna suck. This is really gonna suck. Oh, no! No, crap, I accidentally called. I meant to revive. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad, because Aggron doesn't have very high special defense! And he's about to die, and this is not good. And I am about to die, and freaking out. I'm freaking out. I have one more max revive. Uh. Let's bring back Ampharos, because Ampharos is one hardy-ass Pokemon. Let's bring him back out. And here he is. Now, he's probably going to kill Agron. Yeah, Shadow Storm. Alright, how much damage will you deal to Ampharos? That is the question. If he deal deals more than half, then I've, I I've only got one chance at catching him. This could be bad. I may have to re-record. Oh! He only does a fourth. Alright, he can survive one more attack before getting killed. So, uh, hopefully this will catch it. If he doesn't, this is bad. This could be really bad. Come on. Come on. Alright. We got this. One. Two. Three. The final Shadow Pokemon has been captured. Well, guys... This is Myra B's final appearance. I'm really sad to see him go. He's one of my favorite game characters in all of Pokemon. This is the last time you'll ever see him, unless you play the game again. It's sad. Yeah. Myra B, you were always funky. You will live in our hearts. You will live in the funky part of our hearts. Trudley and Folly, nobody really loved you, but you're slightly lovable. And on that note, I'll probably just end this video. So if you guys like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As you better look in the description because I've got some links. Look in the description. I'll see you in the next video when we continue doing post-game stuff. See you then.